subject being addressed at the public hearing. Seeing none, anyone on my left would like to address the board? Yes, sir. Good evening, Dr. Dean Federoff, 30 Cooks and Drive. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Tonight's agenda confirms that this board supports unbridled and unproffered development resulting in more unfunded liabilities and increased debt service that will continue to have a devastating toll on Stafford's classrooms, and the data proves it. Stafford now has the fourth highest K-7 through student-teacher ratio in Virginia. Last year it was six. It's not a category to be number one in. That's going backwards. A majority of our classes have 25 or more students, many in the mid-30s. In grades three through five, the number of classes with greater than 28 students grew 475% last year. That's going backwards. Stafford ranks 79th out of 132 districts in per-pupil funding. Your contribution is 22% below the state average. In 2010, it was 13%. You're going backwards. At one time, four of our high schools made the U.S. News and World Report top 1,000. Last year, only one high school. And college readiness scores were as low as 19.3%. That's going backwards. Stafford's instructional technology and network infrastructure is aging and cannot support simultaneous administrative and instructional functions. Three years ago, 15% of our desktops were five or more years old. What's that, 35 in dog years? Today, it's 36%. And without adequate funding, in two years, it will be 66%. That's going backwards. Stafford teachers and staff are among the lowest paid in the area. Teachers are generally missing three pay steps. Stafford instructional paraprofessionals earn $9,076 less than their colleagues in Fredericksburg. Rather than funding the missing steps, the pay scale was shifted to hide the deficiencies. That's going backwards. It's time for the parents of our 27,000 students to vote to move Stafford schools forward again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else on my left that would like to address?